Hello artists, today we are going to be talking once again about pop art. You might remember we spoke about pop art when we learned about Yayoi Kusama's pumpkins. Well, today we're going to be learning about a new pop artist named Andy Warhol. Now remember, pop art was the form of artwork that brought art into the homes and places for everyone to enjoy, not just the fancy museums. So first, let's watch this little video about pop art and learn about a couple different pop artists and why pop art is so special. These are four of my favourite things. Bananas, my red coat, tomato soup and comic books. But what do they all have in common? Two little words. Pop and art. Pop art is more than an art movement. It's a lifestyle, a craze, a way of looking at the world. But what is pop art? Pop is young, bold and fun. This is life in the 40s. It's a bit grey. In the 50s, people wanted plastic and glamour. They wanted to have a good time. Buy more, spend more. Don't just watch TV, be on TV. Now, you can listen to the Beatles and Elvis, watch cartoons, eat popcorn, drive cars and become famous. Now, it was pop art all about culture. After all, pop art is popular art, art for all. But who were the pop artists? This is one of the famous Marilyn portraits by Andy Warhol. Andy, Andy Warhol, this guy, see, a cool guy. For Andy, art was a product, the same as a production line of Coca-Cola bottles or Camel Soup. He liked to use bright colours and silk screening techniques to produce art on a huge scale. Pretty clever, I'd say. Pop art is revolutionary! Pop artists were competitive. Who could do what first? Warhol had his advertising. Lichtenstein had his comic books. He used Bende dots to make his artwork look like comics, like the ones you get in newspapers. Pop is on TV, on the radio, and on the internet. Like right now. Does that mean I'm pop art? Well, there's one thing Andy Warhol and I can agree on. I don't know where the artificial stops and the real star. So pop art really is very cool. It's a really fun style of artwork to do. And today you're going to be creating a pop art self-portrait in the style of Andy Warhol. Now, Andy Warhol was that artist who used bright colors and he sometimes would draw the same thing over and over again using a technique called silk screening. We are going to be doing self-portraits in his style, and instead of just drawing ourselves one time, I'm going to show you a neat little trick of how you can create the same drawing multiple times, and then we'll be coloring in our portraits with really bright, somewhat silly colors to mimic the style of pop art. All right, so the first thing you're going to need to do here is take your paper, and we're going to fold it in half, once in one direction, and then again, in the other direction and I try to line up the corners and then when I unfold my paper you will see that I have four separate boxes where I can draw my picture you can hold your paper either way it's up to you these are the boxes where we're going to be drawing our self portraits you can start off by tracing the creases with black sharpie marker and then draw one self portrait in one of the rectangles then you're going to duplicate that portrait in the other three rectangles, doing your best to draw it as similar as possible. If you want to add any little details like stripes or polka dots to the background, feel free. Those are very common in pop art. 
Next, you can add color. You can think about how Andy Warhol used lots of bright colors on his portraits. Sometimes the colors were a little bit wacky and they didn't make sense for the real world, but that's okay. So feel free to get really creative with how you color in your self-portraits and try to color in each one differently than the one beside it. I can't wait to see your pop art inspired self-portrait, especially the wacky and crazy colors that you choose to use when you color in your picture. Take your time coloring. I want you to try not to do spaghetti coloring all over the page and take your time to color things in carefully and smoothly. This is a two week project, so you have a lot of time to work on it. You might only have time to do the pencil on week one and that's okay. Then you can do the Sharpie and the coloring on week two. However you choose to break it up is fine with me. You're gonna work on it a little bit this week and a little bit next week. So have fun, take your time, and I can't wait to see your pop art.